what's up everybody welcome back to another let's play this is the evil within the executioner dlc now i didn't briefly start this but i didn't get very far so i will just start a new game just for the sake of starting a new game i just wanted to test the game out to test out the controls and stuff like that and you know i didn't get very far so don't panic guys i have beaten this before anyway but not in a long time so uh, let's get on with this. Brightness, uh, yes, yeah, as it is, I it. Brighter the better for me, because my eyesight isn't great. So yeah, the executioner. If you guys don't know who the executioner is, he's uh, got old Mr. Boxhead that Sebastian fights in the like original game. He chases Sebastian around stalks him continuation of stem operational testing mobius yes mobius just gonna have a sip of my coffee guys Well, here we go, folks. We are the Executioner. <clears throat> oh, why do you grab it? Mobius Directive Number One. Establish synchronization. Final test subject has been successfully inserted and attunement, a yeah, with the safe-headed creature has been verified. You should be able to use our carrier wave to scan for res residual traces of strong emotions. New directive files will be transmitted for placement into the environment. Well, thank you very much. I like this weapon, man. This weapon's good. Looks like we head into the uh, mansion, the Rubik slash uh, Spencer mansion. Because you know that's what the mansion was built for. It was in, in homage to Resident Evil. You know, Shinji Mikami, who made this game, the father of Resident Evil. Yeah, that guy. folks the non Spencer mansion right, before I go inside I like to have a look around you know what I'm all about folks looking for supplies getting things ready 
That's weird, because, uh, well, fair enough. We have our first enemy. Yeah, because w when I played a Sebastian, this wall wasn't there. That's what's weird, I suppose. Alright, just fuck this guy up. Oh, I, I can only grab him when he's stunned. Okay, I thought... Right, you're stunned now. Come here, buddy. Right, where can I chuck you? At this door. Whoa. You ragged all, didn't you? He is massive as well, isn't he? is massive but for the sake of uh, you know the last play we'll, we'll call him Boxhead just checking if there's anything around here guys you never know what you'll find I done this in uh, my original playthrough with Sebastian nothing in those boxes though quite stingy Yeah, I uh, know I've started Bloodborne as well, guys, but I, I will continue Bloodborne. I just don't... I, I want to uh, play something different. Because I know this DLC is quite short, so... Uh, well, most DLC is short. So I figured I'd get this out of the way, kind of thing. Don't know how many parts it'll take, but I can't imagine it'll take too long to beat this. I will continue Bloodborne, I will continue Resident Evil Code Veronica X. So, yes. Right, let's get inside. Search for your daughter. Are you my daughter? We have a note, and that lovely save music is back again. I love that music. Daughter's Diary 1. Dad, the doctor said you were going to come help me. Are you ever going to get here? There are monsters all over the place. I'm going crazy. It seems like Boxhead is a bit of a good guy, isn't it, overall? Yeah, that's why he was attacking Sebastian and all in the first game, or attacking anybody, because he wanted to fight his daughter. And he, he knew he was experimented upon, and he was angry, and... I don't know, that's just my theory. Even though I've beaten the game so many times on other modes, you know, on survival mode and stuff like that, you know. I still don't understand the story fully. I mean, I do and I don't, you know. Because it is a bit weird. Daughter's Diary 2. Are all of the other people alive? Are they dead? We can't save in America, can we? Yeah. I don't think I have any coins yet, do I? Let's have a look a minute. Oh, great. Nice. Yeah, we need 10, I think. He, he does have a few nice abilities as well. Does the old box head. Shield, uh, bigger health, able to run faster. Alright, just carry on folks. How do I do that... Um, scanning thing. Okay, it's not... I think I could pick up chairs as well and, and throw them, couldn't I? Yeah. Nice. Let's look upstairs a minute. Even though they, they might be blocked off. That's blocked off. I can go in here though. Why are they letting us pick up the parts then, I wonder? Is it because the box head isn't a master craft craftsman like uh, Sebastian is? Okay. There's a 
out to you folks. Oh, disappeared. It's gonna be a bit quicker, I think. Daughter's Diary 3. I saw some guy killing the monsters. I think you should go meet him and see what happens. He might know Dad. But just in case he's some kind of creep, I'm going to leave my letters and stuff here. So she could be referencing Sebastian then. The Sebastian runs around killing monsters. Or it could be Joseph. The more likely is it's Sebastian. Why can't I pick this up then? Why can't I pick you up? to you folks. I I will read in this DLC just for the sake of it. Why not? Mobius Directive 2. Eliminate test subject CB-212. Murderer. This experiment will explore a method of extraction from the e from within the STEM environment. Your objective is to rescue your daughter who was already inside STEM by eliminating all other connected test subjects. Subject CB212, a convicted murderer, has been completely dominated by STEM. His influence grows and he is dis disrupting your daughter's memory patterns. Kill CB212 and access the girl's condition. Assess the girl's condition. Supplementary information STEM erodes a subject's memories in incrementally Inc incrementally gradually altering their personality and their physical appearance until finally the subject is completely dominated by stem based upon the data from rubik's incident it can be inferred that rubik that the rubik entity was able to leave the stem system by entering the physical body of the test subject leslie withers this first trial will explore STEM's mental de degradation effects on more standard methods of egress. Transmissions from the outside as well as tracking within STEM are subject to error and time delays. Use your own judgment in handling these encounters. Connection status. Seven subjects. Adolescent female detective that's going to be sebastian twin sibling we know who they are paroled murderer psychiatric patient ex-soldier and father of adolescent female i hope you like me reading guys just uh i i know this dlc is going to be quite short so i kind of want to you know give it more screen time if you will you know I don't know I don't really want to rush this I don't like rushing things anyway I mean I do want to get out of the way but I don't want to rush it if you get me find these coins we can upgrade something that's why I can sneak as well makes no sense that this guy can sneak he's so fucking big and he makes noises when he walks he's probably not the most stealthiest of uh, characters is he not like good old sebastian who's a master of stealth i'm not sure if, he, if i can disarm traps either i don't think i can i'm just going to chuck a chair in it i mean i i can go underneath it I know, I know that much. I, I do like that thing though, that you've got that memory. Uh, right, we've got an enemy here. I'm stuck in the doorway. Lights out, buddy. Ah, and he makes quick work of these guys, too. doesn't he? He just tr obliterates them. Weird that, uh, well it's not weird, but um, Boxhead is actually a lefty. 
nothing wrong with being a lefty. I myself use both hands. Was that too much info for you? <laughs> there it is, CB212. I think this is the murderer. Yeah, it's the chainsaw guy. Nothing here, no? Scan of the area because it does reveal things. Nothing here. Okay, let's get in here and fight this guy then. More reading. Transcript subject CB212. Murderer. Nobody said it was going to be like this. Time index 1. These motherfuckers barely put up a fight. Time index 2. That old broad who put me in here might have shown me a better time. Time index three. Who the fuck put a kid in kid in here? Thought this place was full of zombie crackheads. Time index four. Your dad's who? Who the fuck is that? Why should I care? <laughs> Time index five. Knew I couldn't trust that little shit. Trying to pocket my loot. Time index six. What the fuck? I can hear someone whispering at me. Time index seven. <laughs> You're trying to get inside my head. You think you know me? That sounds like Rubik. <laughs> Time index 8. Don't be giving me orders. Number 9. Where'd that sweet little girl go? Gotta be around here somewhere. Number 10. Now I see what you were after. Tricking me into coming in here. And number 11. You think I'm your lab rat? You think you got me? I will kill every last one of you. Sadist, then let's get rid of him. At least attempt him. I'm not sure how many times I'll actually die, guys, in this let's play, but you know. Oh. So, we, we do have a health kit there just in case I need it. You're gonna die, buddy. There now, you don't hit hit me when I'm in my an my animation, buddy. You dead. Oh, I was gonna hit those boxes like you as a chainsaw guy. Here he comes with his very own health bar, just like me. Alright, come on in big guy. Two big monsters going, going at it. Aim for that head. Oh, he got me. Got here as well. Come on. He's nearly dead. Fuck, fuck, fuck you up, mate. Quickly before your minions get here. There we go. Give me those coins. Set your ass on fire. I didn't get to loot that um, med kit that was in there, but it's fine. The chainsaw is now available for purchase in the shop. Okay. Alright. Find the Mobius file. Okay. It's right there on the pillar here. Let's take this. Mobius Directive 3. Eliminate test subject CB207. Twin. The rate of your daughter's memory loss has been greatly reduced with the death of CB212. It can be s surmised that his influence on others has been negated. Data indicates that your daughter is on the move, possibly with subject CB207. Eliminate him. Data will be recorded and pro progress stability of STEM domination analysed. Supplementary information. Dominated subjects are used by STEM to emit at wavelengths which deteriorate the memory and willpower of others in the area. 
This ancillary function serves to accelerate STEM's dom domination function. Testing and an analysis needed to determine effect of removing a relay point upon the stable extraction of a subject in a target memory state. Oh, nice. Oh, we have a, a med kit underneath the stairs there, guys, on the right there. I'll get that now, and I'll uh, go upgrade something if I can uh, upgrade anything. I don't know. We'll have a look. We do have a few kinds, so let's see what we can do. I mean, I'm more about health upgrades as well, because that's important. Increase the damage caused. I could do the damage. Traps, okay. Definitely upgrade my health. And I'll get this as well to reduce the damage taken. I have 20 left, can I upgrade anything for 20? Buy traps. Oh, so we maxed out on traps, okay. So how do I change traps? Oh, okay, it's the same uh, okay. Got three traps. It'd be weird putting these down. Alright, let's get let's get the hammer back out. No, I I, I should save really guys. Oh fair enough, I'm, I'm not gonna save. Clearing the execution chamber will allow you to collect memory tokens. Okay, but first I'm going to save. Right, just clear out that memory room. I don't think we need to, but I am, so for the sake of uh, getting more uh, tokens to upgrade with. Right, let's see how well you like cheers, buddy. Hey, mate, have a seat. Oh, shit, his, his, his head fell off, man. All right, let's grab another chair. Who else? Who else wants a seat? Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Attack him as he's, as he's getting, getting up. See, why can't Seb just kill quickly like, like that, you know? I've got another chair for, for y'all. Oh, yeah, I got another chair for you. Oh, pick it up, pick it up. There you go. Hey, now. Look at the dodging skills, guys. Just fancy beating the shit out of this guy with a chair. <laughs> I keep telling you to have a seat. Alright, where's the next one coming from? Oh, he's, 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 he's not dead, is he? He's not dead. You are now, buddy. What the fuck is that? Never seen that in a Serbs game. <laughs> oh, there's one coming. It's beating while he's on the floor. Let's get a head, let's get a head start on him. Come on, stupid. Come over here. Hey, now. Hey, I've got your uh, friend here. Come here, look. Hey. Oh, man. 
this uh, hammer's pretty pretty sweet guys gotta be sad have you even got enough enough to buy the chainsaw now as well Tony Sebastian was an effective killer like like this guy Fucking hell, he went flying, didn't he? Any more wanna fuck with Mr. Boxhead? It's the boss. Well, you can hope for him the boss. He's no match for it for me though. Man handling these fucking guys. Nice. Is that it? Right, get out of here. I think I can go in, in, in and out here at any time though, I think. Yeah. Might be a maybe a, I could hoard coins like that if uh, it will allow me to do that. Forty-seven. That's not bad. <coughs> Let's see what we can upgrade. Capacity fifty. Ah. Get health then. Will help, folks. Trust me. <laughs> Save again. Right, we're carrying a bit more, folks. I don't want my videos to be too long, you know. I'll try my best not to make them too long. Sometimes you can't always help it. Part takes too long, you know, it takes too long. Oh, there's some awesome kills in this DLC, isn't there? Oh, hello there, buddy. Oh, I beat to it, look. Is there someone else in here? Sounds like, like there is, yep. Yeah. I think that, that pulsing is due to the fact that there's something in there to collect that we're pulsing you just saw just then I, I think we did see it let me check these uh vases vases whatever whatever you want to call them we'll just, we'll call them containers for the sake of uh pronunciation in that room and there was stuff in there to grab I do believe somewhere yeah nice hiding in the corners here oh, what the fuck happened to that guy though Whoever was throwing those things at him weren't a very good shot, were they? But, but they did get him through the mouth. And on the, the right nipple there. His right nipple. <laughs> Somebody likes uh, harpoons. Was that you, Sebastian? Would you just torture that guy? anything in here. It, it, it would pulsate I think if there's things in here. Okay, nothing in here. I do believe anyway. <coughs> I 
<laughs> In order to teleport, he must commit suicide. He must rip off his own head in order to commit suicide. And that enables him to teleport. Okay then. Alright. I'm not sure if you can hear that outside guys. There's some guys talking outside my window. I don't know if, I don't know if you hear that. Just people going upstairs in the apartment upstairs. Oh, we've got something in here. <clears throat> Another note, folks. Daughter's diary number five. Is anyone going to turn in? In is anyone going to turn into a monster? There was a tall guy I walked around with. Walked around with for a while because he was lost. He said he couldn't remember where he came from. He always, he was always talking to his brother, even though you couldn't see him. He started to freak me out, so I got out of there. Then he started chasing me, and when I looked back, he was turning into one of those things. Is that going to happen to me too? This place is so weird. Everything from before I came here seems like a long time ago. I didn't read that part right there at the end. I'm not the best reader, guys. I'll give it that. I do like to take my time whilst reading because if you rush it you uh, mispronounce things and say things that aren't there. Uh, okay we've got another boss then to fight here I do believe. CB207. A tall guy. Or one of the twins. I don't remember if we fight both of them, or one, one at a time. <clears throat> time index again. Lost children. My brother, it is so good to see you again. Losing you was unbearable. Number two, I came here to get away, to find solace somehow. I knew you'd be here. Number three, yes, I know, we agreed to help. But now I feel conflicted. Number four. No, I am changing. Just look at my body. Don't you see it? Why aren't you changing? Number five. You know, I, you know, I feel like it's not just my body. Our mind is changing. That's true. What do you think this girl is? Surely she couldn't be working for them. That's inconceivable. Number seven. The girl ran away. I think we, or I, scared her. <clears throat> Number eight, that thing at the core of me, that, that is not me, continues to grow. You feel it too? Number nine, the hooded man watches me. Is he death? Uh, no, he's Rubik. Number ten, we can play like when we were kids. Sorry, uh, Zen, but I'm going to have to kill you, buddy. <coughs> now this guy might hit hit like a fucking truck so I want to avoid him after this fight guys I will save and end the video was not very nice. Holy shit. Uh, he's got some minions with him as well. He's going to go around uh, grabbing all the stuff that I can see. <clears throat> Sebastian uses brain juice. Should have kept that for the uh, the big guy. 
<coughs> Sorry guys. Oh shit, he's it. Damn it. Fuck he moves that slow, doesn't he? Jesus man. Ah, oh, we've got more more minions coming it seems. I really want to collect stuff as well. Oh shit, you're fast, you buddy. I don't want to get get cornered here. Hey now, oh shit. I'm guessing the fucking big guy hit me there because that fucking hurt. I think I need half my health gone. Sake. Of course they make make the guns weak. We got a fucking you know. Well, this box head is not the fastest, guys. He's not. He's, he's no Hussein Bolt. He's no. He's no Sebastian. Get fuck down, boy. Is there a health kit here somewhere? I could really use one. That, that didn't even hit. Oh shit. He's, he's mad. You fucker. I knew he was coming as well. Damn, this guy hits hard. It looks like he killed uh, one of the minions then as well. There you go. Nice one. There you go. Do my job for me. And I still get the coins. Oh, health kit on the floor here. Give me that. Ouch. Go, buddy. <laughs> Just caught the big guy in a trap. Let's see if I can get this gun working before I uh, before he gets to me. No, I don't want to. I want to use it on the big guy, not on you. Fuck. Sake, come on. Oh, nice one. Do my job for me, buddy. Here, yeah, look, mate. Ah, have a body. Just threw one of the bodies up. Zen. Come on. Sake, I was mashing R2 there. You piece of shit. Right, come over here, buddy, because I can kill you with this gun here then. Come here, come here. Come on. Fuck, this guy means, means business. No. It takes so long for him to turn it. It was done on purpose as well, that was. But done on fucking purpose, just to piss off uh, the player.
Right, now where are you? We don't, we don't even reach him, what the fuck? Like, <coughs> they're not 360 guys. Maybe I can get him with this one here then. Fuck, he's nearly dead, like. Just come here then. Damn, he, he hits harder than me, for sure. Mm, right in the face. <coughs> Alright, that's the big guy out of there. Burn. Fucking burn. Now purchase the high and mac the highest maximum ammo rank in the shop. I right, thank you. Goody good good. Let's see what I can upgrade. Hope we do have another note. I'm not sure if I've missed any notes, I don't know. Let's have a look at the archive in a minute. So we got daughters diary one two missing four, so it was four. Th this this could be four here then. Let's read this. Mobius directive number four. That's not. Is it what? Eliminate test subject CB two o four detective. Your daughter's memory degradation has slowed, but STEM domination of the remaining subjects has progressed steadily. The only subject confirmed to still be in the house is CB204, the detective. Access the corresponding area and kill the detective. Supplementary information. At this time we are unable to say definitely that the death of a test subject and the subsequent removal of their influence leads directly to memory preservation. The possibility exists that an unknown element is affecting the integrity of subject memories. Must observe the girl's movement patterns and be watchful for un un unanticipated phenomena. Okay, we can now go upstairs. Okay, oh, this place is a mess, isn't it? Blood everywhere. So that wasn't the daughter's diary then, that was a different one, yeah, it's different files, yeah, I got it now. Alright, let's go upgrade and save and end the video guys. 96 as well, that's not bad. Might upgrade the uh, hammer strength. Twenty-one left. Can I get anything? I'll buy some dynamite. There you go. Well, we don't have any health, but uh, we might find some anyway. Let's save. Okie dokie guys, I will leave it here. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. I'm out. Peace guys.